Good day everyone, Brad here with my largest Technic Batmobile yet. This is the Batman vs Superman Batmobile once again. This is the third time I built this Batmobile, but with different sets as the donor. This time it's from the Peugeot uh, 98, so let's take a look at some of the details. And here we are with the Batman vs Superman Batmobile. First thing I wanted to show though was size comparisons. Most of my Technic Batmobile alt builds are from the uh, Batmobile set from the movie The Batman. And this is the Batman Forever one, the most recent one I built. But you can see the scale is a lot larger working with the Peugeot set because it is such a large car and it gives me more pieces to work with. And kind of another size comparison I have here is the 89 Batmobile that I designed from the Ford GT. This one is larger than my standard uh, black ones because the Ford GT is a bigger set, but this one's kind of the biggest of all. So you'll see, kind of comparing the two, this is definitely the largest one. Now it was really fun to get all the details on this thing. I really like how a lot of the panels kind of turned out and it's all a very solid build overall. Um, for features, it does have rear suspension. Only rear suspension though. Main reason being, I couldn't get the front to be uh, low enough and keep the suspension the way I wanted it. So I do have just rear suspension on here because this is a very low vehicle, which kind of gives it that awesome stance. Now for other features, at the very back here, you have a knob and this knob controls the steering. But you'll notice when you steer it, the front cannon moves with the steering. However, the front cannon can be moved in any direction. So that's because you have all these gears up here, which allow it to move, and it can go up and down too if you want. So you can have it go anywhere at any time, and it will still move with the wheels depending on where you left it. So you can default it back to the center. This works a lot better than it did on the first Batman vs Superman Batmobile that I made. So there's that. And then there's actually a fully working engine, which you can't actually really see unless you pop the cover off. And you kind of have to take off some other panels there to do it. But if you look from underneath, there's a little flat V8 engine hiding in there. And then up here, we have a cockpit, which lifts up. So I just went with a simple uh, one lift instead of the two split like you see in the movie, mainly because it wouldn't look right and I'd have to use a different part and I wanted to give it the iconic look more so than the functionality of it. So that goes up and then inside you have two seats because I realized there's actually two seats in there and not one. So two seats and you've got a little steering wheel here. This one's just for show though. And then you'll see you come around back, the steering control knob. And that is pretty much it for this Batmobile. Again, this is a big one, quite sturdy though. There it is. All right, that is gonna do it for my third Batman vs Superman uh, alternate build Batmobile. So I have one for the uh, 89 Batmobile, the Batman Batmobile, and now the Persia. So I'll see what other sets I can make this Batmobile out of because it is a fun one to make. I will have instructions available in the link down below if you're interested in building this. Uh, also, let me know if you have any questions about the build or any issues. So that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.